New Shooters and Fishers MP Rick Mazza fired his first real shots in Parliament this week, advocating hunting in state forests and taking a swipe at the RSPCA. Mr Mazza believes hunters can enjoy more hunting opportunities while helping control feral pests. And he wants the state government to exert more control over the RSPCA, which he fears is drifting from its animal welfare role. Mr Mazza, join me earlier. Mr Mazza, welcome to the program. Thank you, Andrew. WA makes up a third of the continent. I would have thought there were plenty of places for hunters to go shooting. Why do they need to shoot in nat national parks as well? Well, Andrew, look, we, we, the national parks is not what we're actually aiming to uh, shoot in. We're looking more at state forests. And part of the reason for that is that our state forests are beginning to be uh, overwhelmed somewhat with, uh, with feral animals. So we believe that a good coordinated, regulated, controlled system of um, conservation hunting uh, on a licensed basis would not only uh, improve the environment by getting rid of pests like uh, foxes, pigs, goats and dogs, but also provide a, um, a recreational uh, platform for shooters to, to be able to go to the, to the forest and shoot. Now, now you say it would bring a benefit in terms of dealing with these feral pests, but isn't it fundamentally about giving shooters more places to shoot? Well look, it is about giving uh, shooters more places to shoot and to shoot feral animals. So the, the whole idea is to cover more area and make sure that we uh, are uh, participants in reducing the number of feral animals in those forests. So it's not only the forests, of course, there's a lot of, uh, of our rangelands too that have very large pests like camels, donkeys, uh, goats, etc. So there's a, there's a whole range of reasons why, but uh, we, we think that we can do a similar thing to they, what they do in other states, like uh, Victoria particularly, um, Tasmania and New South Wales. Safety would be a big issue though, wouldn't it? I mean, what, what's to stop some backpacker who's trekking through the state forest being hit by a hunter's bullet? Well, um, safety is, is an issue and it's something that we've got to be very mindful of. I mean, that hasn't actually been an issue in other states. I, I think the safety record um, in New South Wales is actually 100%. So hunters would have to go through a program of uh, being members of an authorised club uh, and make sure that they know how to properly make sure there's a backstop uh, and they identify their targets. Uh, and make sure that uh, safety is paramount. So we, we haven't had that experience. In fact, some of the research we've done, um, cross-country motorcycling and water sports are far more dangerous than hunting. Can I just ask you about the RSPCA? You've raised some concerns about the power and the motivation of the RSPCA. Can you, have you got a single example of where you feel that organisation has abused or misused its power? Well, Andrew, where that came about is I had a number of my constituents uh, in rural uh, Western Australia who have all expressed concerns about the, uh, the path the RSPCA is taking. They believe that they may be straying off their core uh, values. So there is some concern from my constituents that um, rather than, than animal welfare, that there could be animal rights starting to seep in. So there's some concern that the RSPCA uh, may lose, I suppose, the standing in the community that it currently has. And look, I want to make it perfectly, perfectly clear that the RSPCA plays a very, very important role within the community and an important part. However, along with that comes some responsibility and the RSPCA has afforded extraordinary powers for a non-government um, uh, association or, or society and is also granted $500,000 a year by the state government. Now every government department from the police to parks and wildlife and, and every single department is subjected to scrutiny by the Auditor General uh, and also through estimates, hearings and other safety mechanisms and to make sure that those departments stay within their terms of reference and that the public is served correctly. But as I understand it, we don't have that level of uh, accountability with the RSPCA. And I just but, believe... But, but equally, we, we don't seem to have a single example of where that accountability has been breached, where we don't seem to have a single example where they've misused or abused their power. Well, I'm not, I don't have one at hand, but there is there's certainly a, yeah, an expression of views through my constituents, and that's what I'm, I'm uh, expressing. Um, in Parliament, you said a large part of our community is disillusioned with the RSPCA. What are you basing that on? I'm just basing that on my contact with my constituents, um, as I say, particularly in the country. And live export is a perfect example of that, Andrew, where the state government grants, through the Agricultural Department, grants $500,000 a year to the RSPCA, and yet the RSPCA um, uh, wants to ban live export within Western Australia, which is one of the Agricultural Department's major initiatives. Because you also said in Parliament, suspicion and mistrust, which are quite strong words, is mm. starting to build up in the community. Again, is that just based on what your constituents that's are That's based on what my constituents are being um, do, do expressing think, to me, Andrew. Do you think that's a reasonable generalisation? 
to make about the because you're not talking about your constituents in Parliament, you're talking about the community generally. And my my perception would be that this is an organisation that's widely respected. It is widely expect, expected, and that's why I said earlier that it plays a very important role within the community and also why I think that we must make sure that it continues to play that important role and, and continues to have the respect of the community. So, as I say, government departments go through a fairly rigorous check to make sure that they stay within their terms of reference and I just believe that a similar uh, program should be afforded to the RSPCA so that we don't lose that great institution that we have. Mr Mazza, thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much, Andrew.